this is Where's Waldo for the NES. Now I got this game complete in box for 10 bucks. Now personally I feel ripped off and I don't feel ripped off um, because the box is in new condition. I mean there's not, not even a crease on that thing. I mean whoever had it before took good care of it. Although they probably had it stashed away in their basement because they didn't want to play this. This isn't all that good of a game. I, I could really, you know, I, I could do without this game. But, you know. Anyways, there's four difficulty modes, or technically three. Music by Julian LaFay. That's awesome. Actually, he has a YouTube account, I think, called Blown Me Already. I don't know if that's his account, but sounds like it is. Um, so, practice easy, medium, hard. Practice, you can only do a few levels of the game, so pretty much it'd be like a shareware version on on a computer. Anyways, easy, medium, hard, and we're gonna go with easy. Now take note, this this uses the same engine as Home Alone for the NES. Or uses a similar one, they use the same software, I know that. Uh, so we got some, here's the train station. There's, there's like a few levels in the game. Now this cursor, like, see, I'm pressing it as as like slightest as I can and it just goes everywhere now. There's Waldo right there. Now judging from the timer you might think that I have that it said I had 928 seconds, right? Well if that's what you thought you might want to think again. I actually have 9 minutes and 15 sec seconds. Uh, well I mean was it too much to put like a colon between here? I, I don't I don't know. Okay, now every time you get wrong, you guess wrong, time gets subtracted from your clock. There's Waldo right there. Now, I did a review on this game a, a while ago, so I don't think I'll be doing one now unless I get like some requests to do so, I don't know. This is the only part of the game where you can guess wrong and you won't, you won't lose. Oh, there it is. Now, so you're in a dark cave and you're supposed to click on Waldo when he's in your cursor. And this is the only part of the game where you control him. Well look at this, he moves like, like, he, well, you can take this hourglass and it'll either add or subtract him in it and crap. Anyways, look at this, I mean look how fast he moves, he moves like he's on speed or something, but watch how slow he moves when I get him out of here. I mean look, he's moving slower than molasses, he, a minute ago he was just like, like, going hyper, now he's like, just, Going as slow as he can, like he's like 90 years old. Okay, there he is. That was easy. I think I'll complete the game before like any before this video is even over. So this might be a very short one. It's the city. Wait, he could just go from the left. What is he supposed to go to like some certain part of it or something? Is he like restricted from all other places or something? I don't know. Okay, uh, where is he? Oh, he's in that car. Music in this game is okay, but this level change song is annoying. I have the whole soundtrack on MP3, so if you want it, feel free to contact me. This is the what I think is the hardest level in the game. You're in a subway, and you're supposed to, like, Waldo's sunglasses? Okay, I thought he had glasses, just regular glasses, but... Okay, I mean, I never saw him with these kinds of glasses on, but, you know, hey, I guess that's... Whatever. Anyways, you're supposed to collect his gla his sunglasses and Waldo himself, and now it seems like all well, fun and good, right? Well, there's only one problem. There's like this like old dude. I don't know who that's supposed to be. Um, Wizard Whitebeard. I don't know. Anyways, um, oh, see, he massively drains your um, your time. So I mean. You're, you're pretty much screwed if that guy touches you, I mean, especially if you're low on time. So there I go, I'm gonna get Waldo. I just need to get his glasses and... Oh, whoops, my bad. Why can't this thing move faster? Why? Anyways, if that guy lands on you, you're pretty much screwed, because there's like, no way out of it. I mean, he, I mean, unless you, unless you have a turbo controller, I mean, you're pretty much screwed, or if you have fast fingers, I mean, 
I don't know who that's supposed to be though. If anyone could give me a little clue there, that that'll be nice. I mean, not even the manual mentions it. I mean, I read the manual on the way home before we got this game, and you know, doesn't say anything. So there we go. There's castle, and next level, unbelievably, is the last level. Okay, so um, there he is. Okay, the the launch pad is kind of like a slot machine thing. You'll see in a second here. You press this button. I don't know why you have to press it. I don't know why I can't just do it automatically. Uh, I, and I guess these are people from the game. I, I'm taking it that, that old guy is the guy from the previous, two previous levels. Or from the, yeah, you know what I mean, the subway level. Anyways, you have to press the button at the, at the exact time to get, and get Waldo in all three slots. And that's pretty much it. Now you can do them in any order you want. You can do like the second one first, the uh, first one second, and the third one third, however you want to do it. Hint to get the second one is click on the, when it when it's on the girl, like right when you see the girl, you don't want to click. And there we go, here's the ending. Whoa, what happened to Earth? I mean, now I know why Waldo wanted to leave. I guess Satan took over and killed everybody. And all their blood spattered around the globe. I don't know. Just guess. I mean, why else would the Earth be all red? Was it the attack of the killer tomatoes? I don't know. And there you go. So just jumps with the helmet on, and that's it. That's it. I mean, that's all you get for an ending. I mean, that's the, like. I mean, and, all, and then you get this little scale of how far you made it. And that's it. Guess what you get after this? You'll never guess what you get after this. No, trust me. Trust me on this one. I'm going to press A right now, and you're going to see what you get after this. That's right, the title screen. The title screen. So, yeah, I mean, I'm just going to play hard for, like, just for a second here, show you how hard it is. I mean, but this, your, your square, your selector gets smaller, cursor gets smaller, and the screen gets longer. So, I mean, now, sometimes, like, I've noticed that, I, I guess this is a bug in the game, but sometimes you'll land your cursor on Waldo on harder difficulties and it won't register, like, or it's right there. Oh, well, registered there, okay. And, take note, you don't get any special awards for completing this on medium and hard. I mean, it just pretty much says, you know, screw you. All you're going to get is the sounding for me, and that's it. I mean, uh, I don't see him. I don't know. Now, some people do have striped shirts this game. But it doesn't mean it's Waldo, because on the harder difficulties, he changes his outfit. I mean, he'll be wearing blue, he'll be wearing like a green and brown shirt, I mean, yeah, I don't see him. Anyways, I give this game a 2 out of 5. Something probably good for killing time, but it's nothing special, definitely, and it's not, it, it's just below decent for me. And I don't know why there's a stick figure right here, I can't get my cursor on, there we go. Anyways. And I don't know why they couldn't put a colon in between the 3 and the 4, but hey, you know, I guess that's how they screwed up. And why do they have a 0 there if, like, there's, you don't even get 10 minutes? I, I don't get it. Anyways, thank you for watching. And um, I'll say, oh, wait, 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 I want to read something from the back of the box. There's, like, three bullets here. It says, high definition screens bring you all the details. Three difficult, there are three diff levels of difficulty, including a practice mode. Family fun for all ages. Right. Yeah, I could agree with that. I mean, I'm sure anybody could, right? <laughs> so anyways, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later. Peace out. I gotta go before I tear my hair out for playing this game.